Hi guys, welcome back. Can you tell that something is different? I am not wearing my mask, guys, because you can still hear them, but they are not as active right now, and they're dying out. It is, they're going right there. It is eight o'clock at night. Well, it's still bright, but it's eight o'clock right now, and they are, I don't know, they're just not out here right now as much as during the day. They are like white on rice. Anything they see, human form, they want to land and crawl. So today, I'm going to be doing my last cocktail, and I decided to put it in ground. We are going to be doing Bloody Mary. Yes. Now, you really have to be a fan of tomatoes to like this drink. Uh, so I'm going to, I have the plants laid out, and I'm just going to show you guys what I have planned. And by the way, these plants were sent to me from Proof Winners for this particular space, and I'm just like, uh, goody, you make it, yes. Okay. So, I'm so excited and I cannot wait to share with you and show you guys what I have planned. Alright, the sun is pretty bright, so I don't know how well you guys can see these, but we have the double up red begonias once again. And I know for someone who's not a fan of begonias, I don't know, I think they'll just, they'll give me what I'm going after. Like, they're going to give me the look that I have, the vision in my mind is going to come to life by using them. And then in the back I have... Uh, Pineapple brandy coleus, as you can tell, I have a lot of it in the garden. I've been using a lot of it in my containers as well. I have those. And then, this right here is alyssum. It's the moonlight night alyssum. This is new for this season. Oops. Ah! But when I placed them, I did not have enough. So I, every other two, I placed a Super Junior White Vista. This is new to me as well. I think this came out last season. And I had two candy lilies left over. I was like, I'm going to put one like on each side of my bird bath. Uh, and I just repeated the same thing all the way down. And then I carried it around in here so it doesn't look like I abruptly stopped and it's two separate beds. So I got to figure out how I'm going to make both beds like join together. I have four more of those double up red. I'm going to plant them somewhere in here so the whole bed can tie together okay friends so for the color blaze it gets 20 to 30 inches high and uh, let's see how wide it gets mm, it doesn't say like maybe 12 to 16 inches wide I don't know it doesn't really tell but the color is gorgeous and I'm not using a lot of them because I just want them to barely like peek over the red to give it the garnish on top of the Bloody Mary so I'm gonna insert a picture on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like and then for the double up red they get about 18 I mean 8 to 18 inches tall and this is 20 to 30 inches so perfect height and this only gets about the spacing is like 6 to 12 inches so but maybe like this wide um, I kind of want them to touch just a little bit to give like a mass, a block of red. So I snipped up the juniper that was encroaching over on the bird bath. They are right here, great for Christmas arrangements, but we are far from Christmas, or so we think. Um, so yeah, so the coleus really is just for the garnish. That's why I did not mass plant them. I just put them randomly, like three here, two there, and three down here, right here. And of course, I hit some tulip bulbs, which, that happens and then I just put a random one right there and I also carried it around here I have four more begonias and the reason why I'm all over the place all over the place the reason why these begonias look a little bit different from that is because these are a little bit newer and fresher these ones are a little bit older mature of course so I have four more of those left I'm going to find a way to incorporate two in here and two over there so this whole bed feels like a cohesive bed 
and that's the reason why I did the begonias in this container as well with the canna and the red uh, cherry red or something cherry latte no <sighs> black cherry <laughs> What was I thinking? Black cherry. Now this container I had to spray for budworms. This one is coming along well. It's getting ready to bloom. Yes. Just imagine, or as a matter of fact, like within a month or two, this whole space is just mass planted with the red. The red will look so good with the green as a backdrop. You have the green from the junipers, the green from the hydrangeas, and then you have the pop of lime green or chartreuse from the coleus. I just think this area is gonna look amazing, okay? The red popping, okay? It's busting. I am sweating like crazy it is so humid but I'm finished well I am not completely finished I got all the begonias planted and the coleus and the two canna they are two can I don't know where I got Tuscan from but they are two can canna they're red and I love it guys the red is like it's hot okay it's fiery it's sizzling okay <sighs> I love it the red against the green just look gorgeous so I'm gonna be a little bit extra and I'm going to find space in the front to plant some lobularia I think that's how you pronounce it alyssum so I was sent the the new one moonlight I think that was called moonlight night it's a soft buttery yellow and I want that dramatic effect to spill over in the walkway almost like two years ago when I planted the bubblegum vista uh, Vista bubblegum and Vista silverberry. I want that dramatic effect. I want that look So I'm gonna be a little bit extra and I'm going to squeeze them in and see what happens. Okay Spacing Minimum 12 inches max 18 is short. It gets about 8 to 12 inches high blah 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 blah. We already know So this is new for the season. They are struggling. They are dry. They need to get out of their containers um, So hopefully within a week or two they perk up back and you know when I fertilize them and everything they should be fine So I started off one right there and then here. So once I got here, I started to skip every other two. So two, then I did a Super Tunia Vista White Snowdrift. We know that these get huge. Then I did the same thing here, repeated the same thing all the way down because I do not have enough of this and two of them died. So I gotta make it work with what I have. And whew, all the way down to right here. So the last Super Tunia Vista caps it off right here in front of this beautiful hibiscus which i planted this spring i had in a container last season so it's a little bit behind with the other one and then uh, over here
so guys that's it for this bed i am done with this bed okay wash my hands clean clean me done i love it already and they are so tiny right now but just imagine within a few weeks how they're gonna grow so these begonias they do not really put on a lot of width they grow up uh, they only get about 8 to 12 inches in width and about 18 inches in height which is perfect so I'm hoping that they will touch or just barely just brush each other and then with the alyssum I did not have enough as I stated so I did every other two I replaced one with uh, Super Tunia Vista White just so I have enough color to go down the front and while I was planting them I tilted them at an angle like about 40 degree angle tilt them over to like tell them that I need you to grow and grow over the sidewalk which they will eventually do um without me even doing that but i'm happy but i lie but i lie i'm just so excited about this uh, i am losing light so that's gonna wrap up this video i just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting thank you guys for um I'm trying not to get emotional here you know because gangsters don't cry on the internet <laughs> But I really enjoy the support. I really love it. And I really, really appreciate you guys. Like, I genuinely appreciate you guys. You guys are my, you guys are my dogs, okay? You guys are my real, true garden friends. I just, one day, I hope we all can get together and celebrate. But let me stop the rambling and getting all emotional on here. Uh, I'm going to end this video and we're just going to cap it here. This just looks so good. And I cannot wait to update you guys on all the containers we've done. Pineapple, no, pina colada rum punch uh tequila sunrise bloody mary and the last one was cherry bourbon smash okay i have a few more planting to do and then i think that's it for the season as far as planting goes i'm trying to beat the heat it's just getting so hot here so humid in the daytime but i'm out of breath it's time for me to go shower eat some dinner relax and call it a night this video probably won't be up for like a couple days maybe even a week because it takes me so long to edit i just have a lot going on and you guys understand that which is why i appreciate you guys so much you guys don't pressure me to put out content you know um anyway i love you guys toodles